Alrighty, so that's a double. All right, turn that off. That should be good. All right, guys, what's going on? All right, this is the more requested video of uh, 2018. How we doing? I'm gonna just scroll down to the uh, top chat. That's what they call it in YouTube. So um, let's just discuss this. So actually a little housekeeping first. What's going on, Chris? How we doing? How we doing? Everybody's coming in right now. So obviously I can't give the love to the camera. I gotta give it over here to the uh, computadora. That's Spanish for uh, laptop. Actually, Charles, it's Spanish for a computer. Thank you. Thank you, um, people that like to correct people <laughs> that don't understand sarcasm. All right, so first, a little housekeeping. Uh, this will be my last live in the morning, all right? So I sort of cut down on going live on the live prospecting calls for multiple reasons. My energy waned to the oomph degree at like noon, and then in the mornings, you know, this is tough. You know, to be honest, because it's 8.45, I need to get, I, I, what I need to do really doesn't involve this. Um, this was kind of like a, let's restart the channel, let's get into it before we start making sales calls, and now I notice that I can be on here for 45 minutes, and that's 45 minutes, no offense guys, but this isn't my job. <laughs> It may, it will be a side hustle where, you know, I'm going to be going live. So don't worry, you're not going to miss your boy too much. I'm going to be going to the afternoon. So I'm going to be live streaming in the afternoon. I'm also going to be um, really upping, upping the game in uh, a couple of things. One is uh, the thumbnails will be getting better because I'm going to do everything on Sunday. I highly recommend you guys get a block of time and you literally just plan out your week. I plan out the lives that I'm doing on BPI, the lives that I'm doing on my personal account, which is this, my social media, I plan everything in this about hour and a half, two hour window, and it's, it's exhausting. But I don't have to worry about it on Monday, when, Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday when, I'm, when I need to go out and get business. Content is kind of like that sprinkle on a cake. The cake is, how are you in business? And then the sprinkle on top is, okay, how are you producing value? How are you getting your value out there? How are you actually conveying your message, your story, your brand? All of these things that are 100% necessary. You know, people are talking about, you know, any way to, to get business. You know, it's funny, I'm, I'm literally looking across right now. So I, I don't want to turn the camera because it's going to be overexposed. And I don't know how to over unexpose it. So... <laughs> But there's a group of women that have their name tags and they just look so miserable. Someone's talking like, I don't know how people do that. All right. So that's the, the housekeeping. What's going on? We got a big party. I don't even know how many people are. Oh, no, it shows four. Okay. So we're going to be talking about what we put on our body and in our body. All right. So let's go through the history really quick. Uh, we never had anything besides maybe loincloths. There's actually a very interesting video about this. On uh, Vsauce, I can't believe I remembered that, and it was it was based on shame. Okay, so shame. Why do we cover up things? Like when even when we're at the gym, there's hun not hundreds, does it maybe a hundred guys that are in in the they're either getting dressed, they're at the sink, or they're showering or whatever, and they're all walking around. And there's only like two or three older guys who don't give a fuck, and they they let their stuff, you know, like splay out. It's because Shame makes it, shame is one of the biggest emotions that we we try and avoid. We that's public speaking. That's you know exposing ourselves. So back in the Serengeti, when we were on the lands and we were hunting for food and we were outdoors and it, we had great vitamin D coming down. We had we were out. We didn't have sunscreen. Okay, we had shade. We had water that we had to get used to. We had food we had to get to, get used to. We had farming techniques. Just go go read, I, what's the name of it? Sapiens. Read the book Sapiens. That will literally put everything into context, okay? Why I'm even talking about this. Okay, so obviously we started getting through the industrial age and then people said, you know what? This might be good. This might be good. You know, minor things, okay? Most everything was created in the last 100 and something years. And I'll just give you uh, a little, uh, yeah, and, and listen, not all water is created equal. That is a fact. I highly recommend you, you go on Amazon, you pick up a pH 
it's like a drop that you could put into your water and then you, you test not only your tap water, you test the water that you get, like I buy it from Poland Spring, and if it doesn't come out really green, that means you have a very acidic water. And you're putting those acids that could be too high in mineral, too high in, you know, now it's a bunch of stuff. It could be mercury. They actually said that there's so many people taking pharmaceutical drugs. So many people. Listen to this. This is insane. There's so many people taking ph pharmaceutical drugs. I freaking hate big pharma. Like, I highly recommend you read the book Lost Connections. Lost Connections, it will, and it has nothing to do with big pharma. It has to do, well, sort of, they kind of blame it, but it's, it's about why we feel that we need the drugs, okay? And I'm not a counselor, so don't blame me and sue me for going off meds and then blah, blah, blah. But if you actually look at your life, like Jordan Peterson said, what is the smallest common denominator that is causing a potential issue? Elon Musk is on board with this. You know, I, I was watching a video last night and he was talking about he didn't agree with school, so he, guess what he did? <laughs> Typical Elon Musk style. He created a school. And he goes, yeah, we have about 12 kids in there now. Uh, I, think an, I think we'll get it up to about 20. These are like in the neighborhood, okay? He's not trying to make a profit. But he noticed that it's the perfect example of good to great. So in there, I was going to say Phil Collins. He's the, he's the singer. Whatever Collins, obviously Chris is going to write it. Um, this is going to be a longer video. So just get used to it. So in there he says that good to great is if you specialize in something, this is, and they tried this in two Texas schools where they, they said, what do you like to do? And the kids were like, I like to draw. And they said, okay, great. And then they put all the people that like to draw into drawer or whatever, you know, just uh, my New York accent, um, into one group, okay? And then they said, okay, what do you like to do? And he, um, I like to build things. Okay, great, we're gonna put all of you. I like, mu I like music and listening. Okay, great, we're gonna put you into that. And then they literally, when that happens, a multitude of things happen. Number one is you're, you're free to talk about building because you're not gonna talk about building with an artist. You're not gonna talk building with someone who plays music. You're not gonna talk about building that, that people like to draw, okay? So number one is you're, you're free to talk about it. Number two is when you actually are free to talk about it, your ideas increase because you wanna level up. So they said that you're actually, your, your, your skill set as a child, and these, these, I don't know how old, I forgot how old they were, but that's the way it should be done, is that you just put all the good people into what they're good at and what they like to do. All right, Jim Collins, there we go, thank you. So why did I get into that? I have no idea. Oh, so from the book Sapiens, okay? We had, the, the reason I brought that up is because so many people say, well, act like my sister-in-law, well, uh, Sandra, who's my niece, Sandra's sick. Okay, great. Um, what did she do for the last week? Okay, what did she consume? Did she have good sleep? Is she stressed out? Uh, you know, did something happen at school? She's fucking eight years old. Why are you bringing it to her doctor? I was sick. My mom's like, go oh, fuck yourself and, you know, sit in bed for a half an hour and then go to school. <laughs> I, I've never been on a prescription. Thank God my parents had that. I, I don't know if it was a money thing or whatever, but I don't really care. I, I personally, if they were like anti whatever, that's awesome. It worked out for me. I'm, I'm relatively normal. Uh, <laughs> so that's the thing is that, so her, so my sister-in-law has a, has a different mindset. So the different mindset is the doctor is right. One doctor, the one doctor in her area globally is right. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, that, that's, that's the first thing that we need to cover is why are we doing this? Okay, why, you know, I, I wrote about it. I don't know if it was in the books that I posted today on Instagram. So finally, I'm getting back into the books of the week. I have four that I posted today. If I planned out four for next week and four the week after. So if you guys want to see what I'm looking at, just go to my Instagram. And in there, I was, I was actually writing up... Um, what was I writing up? Oh, that, you know, obviously your genes are affected by your environment. So you have a negative environment, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into that. That's an entire video. Well, the genes are affected by that. So your genes literally multiply with the negative environment. So you're predisposed to a negative environment based on complaining, excuses, whatever. Then you multiply those predisposed negative 
genes throughout your body and then that becomes a habit. And then you think about it, so that's wiring in your brain. So not only are your genes that way, not only is your brain that way, actually breaking that is so hard based on your age, okay? So they talk about, why am I saying all this? Because we have to get back to the root. The root is we grew up without filtering water. And, and I'm not saying not to filter water, hear me out. We grew up without filtering water. Filtering water. We ate raw stuff. We ate a lot of berries and plants that we should not have. Okay, we we learned things by doing. Okay, from that stories were told, and they said that bush is bad. Don't eat that bush. Um, that is a good thing to eat. You know that animal is a good. There's a lot of protein. That's hungry. And then we then we discovered fire, and then our jaws readjusted because we can get more to our brain. Our brains then expanded, and it's just this such an interesting story. So we layered all these centuries later, we layered that um, you stick to being a human, I'll stick to being a doctor, and they don't look at the actual root cause. Okay, there's, there's an incredible movie that I, I saw in the theaters. Um, I forgot the name of it, but it was talking about people that cured cancer by not only their, uh, and I highly recommend you, you go to Brian Johnson on Facebook, and he, has one of the he has a two part video one of them I don't know if he put, posted the second part but the the first part is talking about how his brother has cancer right now and what he's doing to avoid cancer uh, not avoid cancer but avoid chemotherapy and they said it's stage two I don't know I don't even want to get into that but it's 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 far long enough that chemotherapy is the option or I'm sorry the requirement. Okay, so Brian Johnson sat his brother down. He said, okay, what are you eating? When are you meditating? I'm never. When are you exercising? Never. Uh, are you stressed out? Yes. Okay, great. Well, we have somewhere to start, okay? And why am I saying that? Because that, those are toxins in of itself. So when we have toxins that, we, or I'm sorry, when we have uh, someone telling us that uh, you have cancer, you have to go through chemotherapy. So Brian Johnson sat his brother down. They went on this ridiculous 180 turnaround. They said, only leafy greens, no sugar, meditating every single day. You're walking with me to the gym and we're going to the gym every single day. Uh, no TV, we're taking your TV out. Uh, literally just 180, okay? When you have cancer, I don't give a fuck. You're gonna do whatever you can, okay? Three months later, they go through the preliminary stages that they have to do. So they took the test in the beginning, and they took a test at the end. This is the funny thing. Um, so the doctor goes, here are the results. And Brian Johnson goes, oh, just like I expected. Brian Johnson is not a doctor. He's a philosopher. He's someone that has studied godly amounts of information, and it works. The guy looks incredible. His wife looks incredible. They're energy, energy, energetic. They're enthusiastic. Why? Because they said, well, let's see. If I don't meditate, this is what happens. If I don't go to the gym, this is what happens, okay? And then if you don't do that, this is what happens, which is his brother. So his brother went on a 180. His doctor gives him the results and they said, what did you do? Because the doctor is thinking, uh, you can't change. You have a fixed mindset, you can't change. This is, this is the path of everyone. You're probably gonna die in a certain amount of time. You're gonna go through the chemotherapy. We have our fingers crossed, hopefully it works. Why am I saying all this? Is because when you go to a specialist, when you, specialist, when you go to a doctor, when you go to someone and they say, this is necessary, it may not be necessary, okay? Again, your boy's not a doctor. But I'm telling you, from all of the stories and all of the books, that you can get to the core, and if you change the core of it, which is things I'm gonna be talking about right now, if you get to the core of why your lips are dry, why your teeth are yellow, you don't need to, um, your teeth are living things, okay? When you smoke, or you have red wine, or you have too much coffee, that's what happens, okay? So instead of whitening your teeth, which is more chemicals, so you're, you're not going to the root cause, you're just, you're masking it, then you actually never change, okay? Then you get your teeth whitened, then, then they're brittle, then they're sensitive, so then you get Sensodyne instead of a regular toothpaste, you know? So this is what I'm talking about, is health is really good, 
But if something is happening where you're sweating too much or you're not sweating enough or your sweat smells, so instead of putting on perfume or more deodorant or more hairspray because your hair isn't staying there or your, your hair isn't straightening and then you take a, a, an iron and, and then you literally clomp it down and you straighten your hair to look pretty and then you put a, a pound of makeup, which is all chemicals, put that in you, your pores, your, your skin is porous. It goes into your body. Nothing's gonna happen after the first maybe 150 times, but after you continuously do it every single day, compounded day by day by week by week by month by month by year by year by decade by decade, you're now 40 years old. You've been putting on makeup. You've been putting on toxic. You've been putting toxins under your arm. Um, you've been putting chapstick all over your lips, which have uh, a chemical in there, so your lips get more dry, and then you get addicted to it. So talk to a girl that 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 puts on um, lip gloss. She's upset. They're obsessed with lip gloss because in lip gloss there is something that makes them keep on putting on lip gloss. Why? Because then the company profits from actually getting more sales. It's the same thing with Vaseline. If you had to do anything, is just a smidget, and you. This is the thing. Okay, when you're going through this, so I had proactive. So proactive was acne. I didn't look at the root cause. I was putting proactive on my face, which is all chemicals. There's nothing in there, maybe water, but that's far gone after they give you it in a plastic bottle. So this is the thing. Um, yeah, exactly. By the way, I said to, to, the size of the brain does not determine intelligence because I get a, I had a big brain, I had a big head and a big brain. Um, yeah, exactly. Doc, Dr. Mario Carmen, highly recommend all of his books. This is the thing is when you go back and you say, okay, what is the issue with my acne? That could be on your face, that could be on your back, that could be anywhere. It says, okay, let's start, start eliminating things that may not be good. So I started eliminating dairy and I was like, actually this is cleaning up a little bit my acne then i started eliminating sugar and i was like oh this is cleaning up then i go on like a binge on a weekend or i have cake or whatever and then it, the acne comes back and then you could say oh it was the sugar i've pretty much completely cut out dairy i don't dairy you know like all of cheeses but i mean actual milk i don't i don't drink any of that what's going on erwin What's going on we got a we got a couple people late to the party here the cake's kicked the cops are coming so this is, this, is what I, this is what I'm talking about is when you actually go and you try and mask it, like I was saying, is when you, you mask it with proactive. So I had proactive. So I would put it on there. This is what's going to happen is I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I'm not going to. First of all, proactive is very expensive. And, a lot, and makeup is very expensive. And all those things are very expensive. Um, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just drop it. I'm not going to use it for a week and a half, two weeks telling you right now, I broke out. And the reason being is that there's something in there, I th what do they call it? They call it a toner. A toner scrunches up your pores. So your pores are normally like this, but they scrunch up the pores. So, so nothing goes in, okay? No dirt goes in. However, nothing comes out, okay? So when it's scrunched up, you have a built up dirt that's behind the pore, behind the skin. And then when I said, you know what, I don't need toner, the skin said, oh, we're not grabbing toner. It went like this. And then all of the stuff that was built up for a decade, decade and a half, just got released. And I broke out my whole face. I was like, oh, my God, maybe I need it. And I said, you know what? If there's, if there's new pimples after this, then I'm going to say, okay, it was the toner's actually doing something. But if there's no new pimples, then I'm like, it's my body finally releasing all these toxins. And I, I can't even tell you. Um, my, my sweat didn't smell anymore. My, I sweat better, like in other words, more healthy, you know, instead of just like, um, it, I would be like running and then it was just like all at once. And it was because you're, you're, you're the pores finally just had to release. That's just one story. Okay. We'll just go into it really quick. So deodorant is something that you put on your under pit. Okay. When you're hot, your pores open. So in other words, you're literally putting deodorant on open pores because that's a hot area and you're putting it there. What is right near, you know, I'm looking at the video, what is right there? All of your organs, all of your organs. Guess what's in 98, 99% of all 
uh, deodorants, aluminum. Okay, imagine applying aluminum, and, it, and, and it's not a small amount. Literally look at the back of your deodorant, it's 10 to 15%. That's insane, that's insane. 10 to 15% is metal, metal. What does is, what is metal toxins potentially do? Causes cancer, okay? So there's studies out there. Um, I haven't researched it enough and I haven't heard it enough. However, there are studies out there where they say, you know what, it's right near there, it's right near your breasts as women, and you apply makeup, you, you apply all this aluminum right near your breast, breast cancer, okay? And I'm not saying that's the cause, I'm just saying there are studies out there that said, you know, what, what do you use What's, what's, the amount, what's the amount of aluminum in that deodorant? How often do you apply it? Do you apply it? You know, I just do it once a day and it's just one swipe. That's it, all right? So it's, uh, ironically enough, Arm & Hammer. So Arm & Hammer, I, I don't like going with big brands because they, they put in a bunch of stuff. But on the back it says, no aluminum, no parabens, contains baking soda, natural plant, ex extracts, absorbs, and fights odor. Um, so I can't, I don't know all of the things on the back. In other words, like all the, well, there you go. Like all that stuff. However, it doesn't matter what, yeah, stain, shield, no yellow. How funny is that? It says no yellow t-shirt stains. Okay. So that's, 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 that's a problem. Okay. So they're actually saying, excuse me, they're actually saying on there, no yellow t-shirt stains. This doesn't cause yellow t-shirt stains, okay? This is, this masks, this is a perfect example, this masks the yellow t-shirt stains, okay? The yellow t-shirt stains is dehydration, okay? You're not drinking enough of this, which should be in glass. Um, I, I, I just get so fired up on it because it's, it's just one step that people are just in the matrix, excuse me, they're in the matrix and they're just like, no, oh, that's fine. I get the cheapest deodorant. I get the cheapest toothpaste. I get the cheapest sunscreen. Yeah, well, what's in that? Well, it doesn't matter. It's protecting me from the sun or people that actually put on stuff to get tans, okay? When you continuously get tans and you continuously break down your skin molecules, the sun is good, okay? I'm not saying the sun is bad, but when you continuously, that's what a sun, a sun burn, damaging your skin, okay? You know, I, I know I'm gonna be all over the place, but health, this is an easy area to, I'm using the same deodorant and it works well. I literally just do one swipe up, one swipe down, and that's it, that's it, okay? Because I wanna to get to the point where my body says, I don't need this, because really what it does is, um, what, what deodorant does is it blocks anything from coming out. So then you sweat in other areas, okay? You sweat on your forehead, um, your groin, your feet are the other areas, okay? Those are the biggest areas. So if you apply too much and your body gets used to it, your body doesn't sweat naturally, okay? Your body needs to sweat naturally. The reason that we have it is obviously sweating and smell, okay? People smell bad, but that mainly they smell bad back in the days because they didn't really shower. They had, it, baby with the bath water, do you understand where that came from? Baby with the bath water was, the whole family would fill up uh, the tub, the father would go first, the mother would go second, the children would go last, and the baby would go final. And they would say, don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. In other words, there might be a baby in the bathwater and don't throw it out. That's how crazy it is. Raining cats and dogs. When, when they had a barn back in the day, and this is what I'm talking about, go back to the roots. Number one, it gives you perspective, and number two is, you got it pretty fucking easy. We got it really, really fucking easy right now. Okay, people are complaining about a bunch of bullshit they don't need to be complaining about. Okay, go back uh, 100 years, 150 years, let alone thousands of years when we didn't have ACs and whatnot. But anyway, that's another story. Raining cats and dogs is because when it rained, they would go up to the rafters because they, they don't want to be in the, the muddy floors. So the cats and dogs would go up to the rafters and they would slip off the rafters, rafters and they would be raining cats and dogs. I know, you guys are learning a lot today. All right, so next is, so, you know, there, there's something, this is the thing is, at Equinox, I, I obviously don't have my soap, but I have, it's a green soap, just go, all you have to do is just look on Amazon, and because there's a lot of people that really look into this, thank God, because I don't have time, but I just type in organic natural soap. 
organic, natural toothpaste. And then once I found out about where it, where it says no aluminum, I'm like, there's aluminum in there? And then I do research and then I understand, okay, no aluminum. So with hair gel, um, anything that is, so this is what I use, it's pretty standard on Amazon, American Crew. Get it water-based, okay? This is another thing. You know, people think just because your hair is hair, this is alive. This thing is alive, okay? And then over time, it actually gets into your roots, okay? So you're literally putting in hairspray, hair gel, too much hair gel, it damages your, your, your hair. Like this is like, th there's, th you know, you should see me at the end of the day. I put in so little because I, I don't care about Yes, I care about the way I look, but I don't care enough to actually damage my hair or have it soak into my pores because this isn't 100% natural, okay? This is 100% natural, okay? So start with that. Everyone's probably already on this bandwagon. Uh, this is the toothpaste that I use. And essentially in here, um, you know, the, the, by the way, I didn't even know there's gluten in toothpaste. But, and then Chris is gonna be like, oh, of course you idiot. <laughs> so, <laughs> so fluoride. Fluoride was actually, it was, uh, it was a good thing about 50 years ago. Fluoride, uh, it helped fight cavities and uh, a bunch of other things, I think gum disease, germs and whatever. But then they noticed actually over time, fluoride breaks down teeth and it's not good for you. So they noticed that when people were drinking it and they said, there's a lot of fluoride in the water. By the way, I just want to go back to something. I didn't finish this statement. There are so many people taking pills, pharmaceutical pills, okay, that are that you should not be taking, okay. And then when people take multiple pills, it's like, what? How do you know what that's doing to your body? And it's not going to happen over a week or a month or anything else. It's it's crazy. So this is what I this is what I would say is there are so many people taking so many pills is that they're actually testing the water and they're finding it in the water. They're finding it in the water because when you pee or you take a dump, it comes out and then it's now in the water system. They find it in the water system. It could be a small amount, but it's still an amount, okay? And it's only getting worse. That's, that's terrible. So um, this with lip balm, Okay, because that's, that's what a lot of people do is they lip balm and they say, well, you know what, uh, my lips are dry. Okay, what's the root cause? Okay, why are they dry? It's because you're addicted to putting on lip balm. You know, I don't have, uh, no, I do. I went with, with Vaseline, okay? This is how much I put it on once in the morning and not even. I've had this thing. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Well, you can't really see it. I have had this thing for probably eight or nine years, okay? And the reason is because I put so little on. I literally, because the, the, th the soap, unfortunately, at Equinox isn't good, I literally just put on, you can't even see it. You can't even see it. That's how much I put on. Like, I don't even want to use this. I only put it on when my lips are dry. Um, obviously outside of that, I would say sunscreen is the worst thing. You know, there's, there's things going around right now that the, that is the number one cause of actually breaking down the coral reef. The Great Barrier Reef, I'm sorry, is, is sunscreen. Okay. There's studies out there. You know, I don't know if it's true or not. People are saying it because there's no reason that the Great Barrier Reef should be breaking down. And they're saying that the toxins that we put on our body while we're sweating, it seeps into the pores, and now that sunscreen, which is destroying nature, destroying plants, you know, obviously if you're into nature, I am too, that's cool. That's not what I'm angry about. That's a big deal, you know, destroying the Great Barrier Reef. But what I'm talking about is, if it's destroying active live plants, imagine what it is doing to your body, okay? What is it doing to your body? You're sweating and you put this chemical on there and it soaks into your, you know, don't get me into it. So what do I do? Um, I just avoid direct sun. You know, I don't, I don't, first of all, I don't sit on beaches. Okay. I just, I just, I don't, that's just not my, my thing. I don't want to sit on a beach and just stare at the ocean. Like, yeah, if I do it, it's late at night, the sun is going down. The longest I'll stay outside 
when I'm biking, that's a little bit different. And that's an issue that I want to get over is I, I so I bought, um, it was on Amazon, it was, it was all natural and everything else. And thank God it doesn't really work because that means that there's no chemicals in there, okay, the sunscreen. Because when I'm biking, I'm going in and out of shade cover, but most of the time I'm out in the sun. So there's sunscreen and bug, bug repellent as well, yeah. So literally look at everything, dish soap, uh, body wash, I don't use body wash, bar soap, very important. You wanna go back to, you literally wanna just have, this is, this is my whole day right here. This is my entire day right here. I put in a quarter size, not even, for my whole hair. Okay, if you don't have a lot of hair or whatever, get a haircut where you don't need this, because this is bad. Um, this, this is getting better. This isn't the worst, okay, toothpaste. Um, this is extremely bad for, not this brand, but I'm saying this is really bad for people. So when you have a cause of dry lips or dry skin, they have, um, I don't even condition my hair. You know, some, I, I go a week, a week and a half without actually, if you smelled my hair, you're like, why doesn't it smell? I go week, week and a half, two weeks without actually soaping up my hair, actually using shampoo in my hair because I sweat all of the toxins out. That's usually why your hair sweat. Uh, like today, the, I had a puddle around me because the guy just kicked ass. So I sweat it all out, I go in, and I wash it out of my hair, and then I hydrate, and I'm not putting shit into my body, so I don't really smell. If your pee smells, that means the rest of your body is gonna smell, okay? I would say if you could eliminate anything, it's the amount of shampoo that you put in because that dries out your hair, which then you need conditioner. And then when you need conditioner, you need more um, you know, hair stuff. Is your hair living? Surely things like gray hair are reversible. Yeah, you know, yeah, the, anything on you is, is living. Um, I would say, is gray hair reversible? I would assume so. I would assume so. You know, I, I look at people and I say, this, this is the question you have to ask yourself. Why does that person, why does that person have visceral fat, which is fat around their, their midsection? They may have thin arms, thin legs, but they have the visceral fat, and that's, that's the fat around their organs because it's so toxic. That's toxic from food, that's not toxic from this stuff, okay? But you really, truly have to look at, you know, food's a totally different story, that's really easy, we understand that. Okay, soda's bad, salad, good things that are green and red and purple and things like that that are natural like flavors and tomatoes, that's easy, okay? But we don't know about all the shit that we put. Dry cleaning, that's another thing, you know? I, I, I try and go to a place, I don't know if they do it, hopefully they do, but I broke out one time with like these weird hives on my legs and I was like, fuck, I was like, what is this? And they used a different dry cleaner and they use something that's very cheap, okay? So the dry cleaning, um, water, obviously. Anything that we put on is plastic is terrible. Plastic, when you it's heated up, or styrofoam, or anything else, it doesn't matter if it's PAB free or whatever the fuck they call it, it doesn't matter, go with glass. Glass right now is the best option by far. Don't put it in metal, okay? They, they have aluminum containers and everything like that. Obviously, when I'm biking, that's really the only area that I'm, I'm putting in something that may be heated up and I'm drinking, but that's, that's just once a week, twice a week. You know, but the ones that we have to really be concerned about is all the things that we do every single day that lead to what you see around us, okay? It's really, you know, I'll leave you with this. And I know I say that all the time, but I, I will leave you with this because I, I, I gotta pop into work, is see what area of your life, this is with anything, what area of your life that you, you know, whether it's hair or, or it's chapped lips or you can, or you put on um, moisturizer, moisturizer, what the fuck? Moisturizer, whoever invented moisturizer is making a ton of money because people moisturize their whole body and I'm like, dude, you don't need to do that. I don't moisturize my body, okay? When I drink too much, yeah. If you're methodical about things going on your body, why would you, why wouldn't you prep your own salads with all our stuff going in more? Yeah, you know, it really comes down to time. I, you know, just like Elon Musk, he literally said, um, I don't believe in the school system. They don't teach you anything. You're all in the exact same thing. There's, and he created his own school system. When I'm wealthy enough, there's gonna be someone that travels with me because the food that, when I was in Omaha, was terrible, okay? So when I'm wealthy enough, we're gonna have a nutrici nutrici nutritionist 
follow me around and literally either land before me or land with me. He goes out, he gets the, the fruit, the salad and everything and prepares it because to be honest, when I was in Omaha, I ate like shit because there was no fucking options. The salad was old and shitty. Um, the and there was no vegetables. It was and but then I looked around. And I was like, wonder why. You know, you look around. You're like, wonder why everyone's overweight. All right, do what you can. You know, that's I, I would say is do what you can right now. What is the one area for for me? It was I was putting on obviously proactive. So I, I I'm obviously off of that. Um, then it was I would literally carry around chapstick. Then I was like. I gotta get rid of that. So I drank more water and I, I weaned myself off it. Your body will adjust, just, that's the biggest thing. Then I, I would say probably the hair product came for uh, second or third or whatever. And then uh, sunscreen, I eliminated. Bug spray, I eliminated. And this, listen, if a bug is gonna attack me, a bug's gonna attack me. Like, honestly, do any of them really work? <laughs> do really? Because I used to use them and they, bugs just don't give a shit. And then obviously this was last. So look at the water and things like that, but just start with one area, that's it. Just start with one area and then you just slowly improve. Like Chris was talking about prepping my own salad. I just don't have the time. I don't have, I, I, I just don't want to do it. That's something I want to pay someone to do. That's just way below what, you know, I, I spend $10 on a salad. You think, Prepping the salad, bringing the salad, cleaning the salad bowl, all of that is worth $10? No. And it comes in plastic. I don't know if they put pesticides and all this other junk on it. Hopefully not. It says it's local. It says it's organic. I believe them. You know, I want to. I, I feel people have a good heart, you know. So if you guys have, uh, so just search natural organic. Yeah, exactly. And things are different. Like this, I didn't even know there was gluten in. But you're also not swallowing it, which is good, unless you eat your toothpaste. So yeah, like, would you know that there was aluminum in there? No. So once you start seeing it in the title, no aluminum or, or a glass or you know, no chemicals or whatever, then you say, okay, that's probably an issue. If they're actually saying that they don't have it, then you put that into the search bar and then less results come up. And this is the thing, especially soap, especially soap. Uh, you want to go natural, it doesn't work as well. I'll give you, I'll give you a little uh, history about this is back in the 50s, look this up, I think it was Crest, Crest toothpaste. They were saying, uh, and by the way, everything comes down to advertising. Bacon was never a breakfast meal, okay? It was never a breakfast meal. And then they said, let's just do bacon and eggs. And then they pumped out bacon and eggs and now you have all day bacon. Bacon was, was eaten in, in the evening. Okay, it was the same thing with this, is that they were having trouble actually, this is really interesting, you'll actually never forget this. They had trouble selling toothpaste. They were like, well, what do we do? They said, okay, they found this thing that was in soap, and in soap, soap is not supposed to get um, bubbly, okay? Naturally, soap is just like a conditioner. You'll, you'll remember this, soap, shampoo, and um, this, toothpaste are all supposed to be just like conditioner where there's no bubbles, okay? And then they add this chemical, this reaction that happens when water and movement happen, you get bubbles. So people, uh, they associate cleanliness with bubbles, okay? That's not the case, okay? They added that chemical to think that you're actually cleaning your teeth, to think you're actually washing your hair with shampoo. Okay, the difference between shampoo and conditioner is literally that chemical. And a couple other things in there. But do you notice that, that uh, conditioner does not have it and you feel like your hair isn't really getting, that's, that's the story behind it. I'm telling you, it's, it's brilliant. But now you associate bubbles with cleanliness when in fact it has nothing to do with cleanliness. Okay, the only sort of little thing is that you're adding air to the to the, um, to the skin when you're cleaning your hands. That's it. But it, bubbles are not supposed to be there naturally. So anyway, that helped them sell more stuff and then sure enough, Crest took over. It was, it was, I think it was Crest, but look it up. I think it was in the 40s or the 50s. There's a ton of info out there about how to make products natural. Yeah, just Google it, yeah. Uh, start small, that's all I have to say. It's not gonna be overnight. All right guys, uh, again, I'm not gonna be going live every single morning 
because I need to make a lot of money and change the world with self-development. So uh, sorry, but I'm going to be doing the afternoons, which might actually bring on more people. I have no idea. The topics are going to get better. The thumbnails are going to get better. And we're not going to need, and obviously the quality, hopefully the quality is good. Uh, nobody talked about the quality. Thanks, guys. I only just have a $5,000 camera and $800 microphone system and a $900 software in the $3,000 office to pump this out to you guys. <laughs> just to make you guys feel like shit that you're getting this absolutely for free. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I, I would assume that, you know, that, that's the thing is if, if you're building a business, you know, you, I want to, Gary says it so true is that I want to build a business so valuable, not on the fact of how much money it's worth, that's obviously part of it, but how much value it actually gives people. That's, that's a business. That's a business. Because people feel that they owe Amazon their business because they perform, they get free returns and everything else, and it's so, they give so much value to the consumer, and they charge lower prices, they have all the reviews and all the products and da da da, that they, people are addicted to it. I was actually at one time addicted to it, and I was like, holy shit, I get a big check, say like a check of 20, 25,000 comes in, I would spend a lot of it, not like thousands, but I would, I would just go on like a binge of spending and I'm like, fuck. And then you just, then you just literally go into it and you're like, okay, well, this is one area I need to improve. Don't use the word change. It's all about psycho-cybernetics, the way you talk to yourself, nomenclature, things like that. So if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below, even though I'm not near the, the comment, system, uh, comment system. So. Hopefully that helped. If you guys have any suggestions on how to get the word out, besides just me saying subscribe and all that other bullshit that I hate when other YouTubers talk about that. Am I a YouTuber? I don't, I don't know, whatever, who gives a shit? Um, but leave it, be like, Charles, you need to cut your video shorter. You need to go live at this certain time. You need to have better thumbnails, which obviously, you know, mine is more of a rant than a structured, I can't do structured. I can't. Even when I do property tours, I can't do structured. I just, I forget my lines and I just don't give a shit about what I'm talking about most of the time. <laughs> I'm like, here and da da, da 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 And then I'm like, no, let's talk about the history. Let's talk about the apartment. Boom. Done. All right, guys. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you guys soon. And any comments or anything good that I should do, leave in the comments below. Great info. Important subject. Very good. Talk to you guys soon. Spread the word. See you another time. <laughs>